Hey guys, it's Addie. Welcome to Fabulous Friday, and today we are going to be making Snickerdoodle Truffle Bites, but I could not do that alone. So today I have one of my bestest friends ever here with me. Her name's Delaney. Say hi, Delaney. Hi. She'll be helping me throughout the video. Um, okay, so let's get started on baking. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> So let's get started. What you will need is what you will need to whisk together is one cup of all-purpose flour. It's all in this bowl. All in this bowl. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. It's also in this bowl. <laughs> Delaney's trying not to laugh. One fourth teaspoon of baking soda, which is also in this bowl because we need to mix it together. Um, and finally, what we need to mix together is one fourth teaspoon of fine salt. So I'm just gonna whisk this together. Whisking, whisking, na 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 na. Whisking, whisking, na 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 na. Delaney, would you like to whisk this together? Yeah. So it's kind of more. Okay, then in, a, in an electric electric mixer, you'll need to beat together one third cup of a light brown sugar. Then here's all the stuff. It kind of looks gross right now. It's not mixed up at all. Um, uh, then you'll need one third cup of a white sugar, or just like normal sugar, that's white sugar. Um, sorry, I'm looking at something with the ingredients. You can see the pad thing. Um, six tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. And then two teaspoons of plain yogurt. So here that is. It kind of looks gross right now. Then in a Tupperware, then in a microwave safe Tupperware, you're going to melt together one cup of white chocolate chips and two, one, one tablespoon of coconut oil or vegetable shortening. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Or you could just use like a normal beater, but I have this. My precious. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> it smells like yogurt <laughs> and sugar. Okay, now. We are going to take this, the chocolate chips, and the, I'm using coconut oil because it's just a healthier choice, but you can use vegetable shortening or coconut oil, which is one tablespoon of it. So, <laughs> going to go to the microwave. But you don't want to overcook it because then that can ruin the entire thing, so. I'm just going to start out doing... Um, 25 seconds, then I'm going to stir it up. So, then this is almost done. The butter is not quite finished. Mixing. I'm just going to get it down with a spoon here. And again, you do not want to overcook it because that can ruin the entire thing. Like, because it can become chunky. So, 
and then while we're dipping the truffle bites into the white chocolate, it um, won't work. Yeah, I know, I'm going to. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in the microwave. And we are going to finish that. Okay. Once you have finished your once you have finished mixing your um like products like, like your butter and the one you're supposed to mix up in the electric mix it, okay? In in the where is it? Okay. Oh you can't see it. Okay, it's not on camera. I was like, where's the electric mix it? Okay, so after you have done the ingredients that were supposed to go in the electric, like you're supposed to mix in the electric mixer, you're going to add all your dry ingredients, like the flour, the cinnamon, salt, and baking powder. So she's going to be dumping dot into there. I'm creating a new drop of it. Okay. okay. Then we are going. Then you're going to mix um, that together in the electric mixer again. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I need to try this. So gonna bum 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 here. Wait, how do you Okay. Okay, but how do you grab the um hold on? Do you just like push it in? Just like, okay, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, so. Now we are going to start to mix this together. Okay. I'm gonna just set that in there. Lock it. And Mix it all together, mix it all together, mix it all together. It's like I'm holding it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I got you. Foster has a foster. There's my wonderful A. So, we're going to let that. So after that is done mixing, this is what it probably should look like a little bit. I mean, the color's not. Okay. <laughs> um, so then you're going to take a tablespoon, or I have this. It's like for cookies, but it's supposed to be round, obviously. And yeah, so I have this. So it makes like perfect circles. I shall so I shall show you guys. You just kind of like scrape it on the side. So here's like. Boop. Okay. Then you just oh also you need a cookie sheet. You need a cookie sheet with parchment paper on it. Then you just like kind of just put it on there. So here is, I'll just, my hands are washed, so. Then you keep doing that with all of your, um, with all of your, like, truffle bite things. So I'm going to go ahead and. You're done rolling the dough into spheres. You are going to take, you're going to take, um, the cookie dough. And place it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. So we are going to do that. So at four, sorry, 440, we are going to take it out of the freezer and see what has become of it. Yeah, and also during that time, make sure you be very, very, very okay, weird. So I'm reheating the, um, white chocolate chips and uh, coconut oil because they got hard within the time we were baking and we left them in the freezer for I think it was 
25 minutes and they're pretty good they're like almost completely solid but that's okay because they're obviously gonna thaw so this is done and I'm going to stir it Ooh, I think it's good because you don't want to overcook it yeah Delaney it's good okay. look it okay so next thing you're gonna do is let me go set the spoon down all right next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take a fork if i have any forks wait uh. excuse me okay i'm just using a little baby fork because i can't find any other forks so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take these and just like roll them in the chocolate, in the white chocolate until they're completely covered. I can't do it. Oh, I suck at this. My one is too thick. Oh yeah, can you grab me something? Um, okay. Sit. I'm just like covering it on the top and don't pay attention to any of the noise in the background because I mean I have a family okay so no, I need one. no when we pick it up we're gonna use it like this you could just go like this with it like this one Okay, so here it is after it's completely covered, and then you're just going to stick it back onto the okay. um, part. So, once you have finished doing your um, coating of white chocolate, you're going to like set it on the parchment paper again just to do. Okay, then we are going to do um, taste test with Delaney. Delaney is going to do taste testing with me, and we decided to put toothpicks in here, so Delaney. We're gonna do taste testing. So I'm not that big of a fan of white chocolate, but we'll see how it turns out. Alright, she's okay, just like grab this one. This one's probably the best one to grab. Okay. Alright, so I just took the toothpick out. Alright. So here it is. They have like a little thing. You ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm just kidding. One. Mmm. Now we like it at all. <laughs> it's good. Hmm. Mm. That's really good. So I would highly recommend these. Um, I've never tried them before, but they're really good. Like, they, you can taste the yogurt even though it's like only um, two tablespoons. But okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like. And comment down below what um, next challenge I should do because I'm going to do a challenge on Wednesday. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment once again. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay weird. Bye. <laughs>